Oh yeah, and welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at esters, which are an important um, part of the organic chemistry you need to know for your GCSE. So um, esters actually have like a first name and a surname, so the naming of the first part is exactly the same as all the other ones. And then the first name will end in oil and the second name will end in anoate. So esters are formed by the um, combination of an alcohol and a carboxylic acid and this produces an ester and water. And this is the functional group that you're looking for with an ester and I've put little half bits here because this is a functional group that's actually in the middle of a molecule so it's slightly tricky to spot but if you can't find an alcohol group on the end or carboxylic acid group on the end look for an ester group in the middle. So the only one you actually need to be able to name for your GCSE is ethyl ethanoate. Um, it's nice that um, they both have the same number of carbons on either side. So ethyl is because it has one, two carbons and one, two carbons um, the before and after the functional group. And the functional group is this bit that we are looking for in here. That's the bit that makes it an ester. So here are the um, molemods showing you the um, ethyl ethanoate. You can see carbon in black making four bonds, oxygen in red making two bonds, hydrogen in white making one bond. And um, then in the middle here, this is the functional group that you need to be looking for when you're identifying an ester. So um, esters have some really nice uses and properties. Um, the two main properties that make them so useful is that they are smelly and they are fruity. Um, so the smelliness comes from their volatility, it means they evaporate really easily. So um, it's really easy if you smell things, but this also means they're very flammable, so they can be quite dangerous. Um, because they're so um, smelly and volatile, they're used in a lot of perfumes, they're used in a lot of um, sweets, pear drops, which I actually love, are um, all due to esters, they're used in paint and they're used in nail varnish remover. So I've put this bit on the end, this is a slightly um, trickier bit which you really only need to know if you're aiming for the very top grades or you want to do um, A level chemistry at the end. So when we name esters, the first name, the oil bit, comes from alcohol and the anoate bit comes from the carboxylic acid. This allows us to look at um, something that looks very similar and to identify the um, original alcohol and carboxylic acid that it came from. So ethanoic acid and methanol would make methyl ethanoate and water and methanoic acid and ethanol would make ethyl methanoate and water. So this is what it looks like. I have up here my ethanoic acid with my uh, one two carbons and my carboxylic acid functional group and my methanol with my one carbon and my alcohol functional group. This is a reversible reaction. You need a really, really strong acid catalyst for this to happen. And I've colour coded it. So you can see this bit of the ester comes from the ethanoic acid and this bit of the ester comes from the methanol. And essentially they both donate one um, um, oxygen to this and then we lose this and this and they go off to form water. So this is the other one, um, ethyl and methanoate, you can see it looks very very similar to methyl ethanoate but because of the namings we can tell which bit came from where. Um, so we have methanoic acid with our one carbon our one carbon and our carboxylic acid functional group, ethanol with our one, two carbons and our um, alcohol functional group, and then our ester down here, ethyl methanoate. And this bit here came from the carboxylic acid, and this bit here came from the um, alcohol. Um, I've drawn the two of them the other different ways around. They're both exactly, um, doesn't matter which way around you draw it, whether you have um, the alcohol or the carboxylic acid on each side. All the important thing is that you can identify this ester functional group in the middle here. <laughs> 